Hello, my name is Nilay. Today I will tell you what's a puzzle and how to use it. Uh, what can you do using a puzzle in education? How can you create your virtual classroom with a puzzle? A puzzle is one of the virtual classroom applications that can be used in flipped classroom applications. A puzzle application is a useful and free virtual classroom application where you can edit videos uh, using any video available on the internet, narrate with your own voice, add voice notes, ask questions for your students, and read the answers given by the students, and check whether the students watch the video you created. You can upload videos on your computer or mobile device into the system, or you can create your lectures by adding videos from sources such as YouTube, TED, Khan Academy, LearnZillion, provided to you in the system. Now let's see step by step how the application is used. Uh, we can we will click login button and uh, you will see two buttons I'm a teacher or I'm a student uh, and I'm a student button I will click uh, click on the I'm a teacher button yes you can automatically sign up to the system with your Google account or your Microsoft account uh, I will sign in with my Google account Okay, uh, in the middle of the page you can take a look at the best practices made on the Edpuzzle site. Uh, at the top of the page there are source sites where you can search for videos this area from this area and on the left side of the page there is my content folder, my network, notifications, my classes and archive. Uh, Parts. Uh, the first area we will examine is the my content area where uh, the videos you have created before are listed where you can upload the videos on your computer and create a new project uh, to create a new project you can add uh, you can click on add content button if you want to create a new folder uh, you can cl click on add folder button I want to add a new content you can your uh, create you can create your own content from discovering videos uploading uh, a new video recording or your uh, recording your own video or uh, you can create a project from student projects uh, I want to upload a video from YouTube so uh, I'm sorry I want to create uh, upload a video so I will discover video content button I will copy the YouTube link then paste it to here then search okay after uploading the video the first step is to edit the video uh, if you want to use certain areas of your video you can make the necessary adjustments by moving the bars under the video after the video is loaded like for, example, uh, for example, if you want a one minute portion of the video, part of the video, uh, you can easily cut your video by mowing the bars. This part is enough for me. Uh, okay, so uh, I want to pass the other um, step. If we are going to narrate on the video, we record our voice on the video. In this, uh, in voiceover section, uh, we used to give voice notes to students in certain areas of the video, but uh, we cannot use voiceover uh, 
section uh, for YouTube videos uh, because it's blocked for it. The next step is questions. To add a question, you can come to the part of the video. Uh, we want to add a new question. We can create three different type uh, types of questions. These are multiple choice question, open ended question, and note. Uh, from note uh, section, we can add questions into the video as comments. Uh, I will use uh, open ended question section. Okay. I want to ask something uh, to the students in this part of the video. So I will select this uh, minutes of the video. Then I will click uh, open ended question. You can type your open ended question to here. Uh, why do you use person D for scanf? Uh, if you want to allow audio response responses. Uh, you should click this off uh, to on. I will save my question. If you want to add a new question, uh, you can add the questions from here. Uh, okay. finish button at the top right of the page and our video is ready you can uh, set your video as public or private you can assign your video assign this video to a class but we uh, don't have any class for now uh, and I will show you to create uh, how can you create a class? I will click assign button. Yes, we don't have a class yet. I will click add new class button. You can your uh, you can create your class uh, clicking create new class button, or you can connect your connect your LMS class. You can create your class by naming your class, selecting your course area and class level and uh, clicking the save create class button. Class name computer engineering. This is optional. Grade level higher education, subject computer science, and create class. Now we can assign our video uh, to computer engineering class, clicking on assign button. You can select start date and due date uh, from here. You can edit a signed video, view as a student this video. Uh, I want to go to the main page. I want to see my content area, my classes. 
Yes, uh, now we don't have any student uh, on computer engineering class. If you want to assign uh, students to this class, you can click invite students button. Yes, uh, the system generates a class code for you and you give this code to your students and enable them to reg register for the course. After selecting video select, uh, you can send this uh, assignment uh, to your students. But you, you should give this code to your students uh, to assign the class. Okay, uh, 